Hi everyone, welcome to another Power Plant Podcast and today we're going to talk about a book that I read It's called The Raw Food Nutrition Handbook Can't get more comprehensive than that, can you? Um, I was looking through the library and I was like, well, I sort of, I've got one on human evolution that I'm reading now. Uh, I've, I've read one about climate change. Let's read one about sort of nutrition. I've got another one on sports nutrition on the go, but this one was about raw food nutrition. I've always been interested in, uh, well, ever since I've been vegan, um, I've been interested in sort of raw foods and um, people's, you know, anecdotal stories saying that they feel so good or this happened when when they went raw or, um, you know, their skin cleared up, more energy, digestion improved, that kind of thing. And I've only, I've tried, I've tried it. I say I tried, I mean, three and a half days. If you ride your bike for three and a half days and then you try and go into the Tour de France and you wonder why you're not winning, then that's sort of an analogy of raw food. You tried it for three and a half days. Why don't you... I don't know, start flying off with the raw food fairies in terms of feeling amazeballs. Um, it's something that I want to give a go and maybe I will while I'm here in Hong Kong uh, if I can just sort of find some reliable, low-priced for me. I don't see the value in perhaps raw that uh, a lot of people are willing to spend a lot of money on it compared to starches, which are in general so cheap. Um, which I've never had any problem with in the past, you know, sweet potatoes, rice, bread. Uh, I can notice a bit of a difference with bread is not the best food, um, but most of the other starchy veg are good. And I eat lots of fruit anyway, so I still love smoothies, you know, 10 bananas, whatever, however many ripe ones you've got on the go, uh, salads and greens and fruits and veggies. But completely raw is something that I've never tried. And this book basically laid out the different ways you can do it and how you can meet your, nutri- your, your, your vitamin and mineral RDIs or adequate intakes and sort of sets your mind at ease. Um, so it laid out the, the framework of how to do a raw diet or a mostly raw diet on sweet fruits. They call that uh, the, the sweet fruit raw diet or the mostly fruit raw diet. And then you've got the, the higher fat fruits or the less sweet fruits um, raw diet. They also had a sort of moderate one in between, which they seem to sort of say that that might be best for most people. And then they had uh, one that included 80% raw, 20% cooked. And they compare it against the standard American diet in terms of uh, nutrients, vitamins, um, you know, calorie intake, the nutrient density, everything. They they look at all the individual nutrients and where you can get the, the sources, different sources of nutrients. Um, for example, selenium uh, can be hard to get on a plant-based diet unless you're eating uh, Brazil nuts. Apparently, they're a very rich source. One Brazil nut has more than a daily required average. And there are other sources as well. Um, I think it's mainly nuts and seeds for selenium. Uh, you know, they go through everything. Iron was definitely one that was not an issue, pretty much, if you're eating a balanced diet, you're getting plenty. Uh, I mean, they, they, were all, they were all fine on a balanced diet. Um, and it goes through, yeah, all the sources and uh, compares the different, the different ones and breaks it down in a very scientific manner, which I thought was, it was very clear for me to understand. Um, it's, it's written in layman's terms. They break it down scientifically, but it's, it's easy science. So anyone can understand it. And if you're interested in going, pursuing a raw food diet, the benefits of raw food, then I think this book would be a good place to start. Certainly was for me. Um, and whilst I've been eating lots and lots of oats and peanuts recently, uh, in the future, I plan to eat more fruits and veggies. I've got some bananas ripening at the moment. Um, there are so many different angles from which to hit veganism from and if you're feeling your best when you're eating a good diet it's that's gonna you know ripple its way around the rest of your life in terms of what you do and how you influence other people so that's why it's important to look after your health and yourself so if you can get the advantage through reading some more books 
delving into the topics, um, then then go for it. And you know, you've got a wealth of information at your fingertips. If you've got a smartphone, if you're listening to this, you've got the internet. Then you can choose what to do. So you can either choose to be distracted, or you can choose to pursue some new material, get some stuff into your brain. Okay, so the raw food nutrition handbook, it breaks it down very simply. Um, layman's terms, looks at different ways, gives you plenty of um, meal options, you know, recipes, and uh, it's a pretty interesting read. So thanks for listening to another Power Plant podcast episode. Catch you next time.